Hello, and thank you for tuning back into the channel a little bit of a late night video, but it's an important one. The upgrade to the mobile station is complete. The issue has been resolved and the correction made. Strap Cole and others like him are to thank for this. The industry goat that he is. You need to find out who this person is if you aren't already familiar with him. People like Edward Kim Restrap named get a lot of credit for doing unheralded effort. Strathclyde is one of those persons for whom everything I do goes absolutely unheralded and unrecognized. We owe a great debt of gratitude to him for driving this initiative forward. It serves to underline just how crucial it is that we break free of TFL and stop depending on them to incorporate the improvements we've developed into their infrastructure. If you were working for TFL and had the chance to fix the blockchain that is your number one enemy, would you take it? Your move, please. We can validate that they are in fact fleeing from you and that you are likely to slow them down in any reasonable way in DK. The goal has always been to make our system less efficient. This shouldn't have taken nearly a month, but the mobile station is up and running now, so everything should be back to normal. Waiting for approval from people who aren't even part of our system is unacceptable. Our revisions are fantastic. That's extremely competent, wouldn't you say? We're going to have all these conversations, and it's going to be fantastic. Okay? This means that your pull requests must be merged. Alright, let's get in touch with TFL. You can already see the problems, but we'll talk to them and they'll likely merge it in about a month. Many individuals took my last suggestion as a defeat. This is not a setback. It's not like the idea was voted on because there wasn't enough people present to constitute a quorum. Abstaining would have helped drive us to where we needed to go, and we saw that people are willing to. Play dirty validators are simply choosing explicitly terror rebels to not even abstain. Many of the potential validators didn't cast ballots. Perhaps they were too busy, distracted, or preoccupied to notice the vote being taken. One thing I am certain of, though, is that individuals are being dishonest. This demonstrates how far people will go to preserve their income. The situation will inevitably force individuals to defend themselves. And the chain benefits greatly from all of their efforts. Well, I certainly hope I'd still like to run them if they weren't getting their hefty monthly wages. Since decentralization, increased accessibility, and improved wallet infrastructure are all necessities. That much is clear right now. Remember this film as the culmination of a long process. It has finally reached the point where a positive video can be released to show that the problem has been resolved. They still haven't fixed it, but we have. Furthermore, our revisions were just accepted. It's really absurd. It's neither healthy or secure to have a central authority that must approve all of your blockchain related actions before they can be implemented. To act in this manner. No one here at TFL knows any of us. We have no idea where they stand. And at this point, it's simply one of those things that's so clear everyone can see it. However, the community has learned a great deal from the latest vote by merely watching validators and not voting or getting active because they fear we would undermine the comfortable position they have built for themselves. The worst part is that the plan is free, or at least the first half of it is. The second component of the concept is also a total game changer without adding any new quarterly operating costs. It will be insane. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to be reiterating my idea. That's fine, and I'll follow suit with the other validators by contacting them individually to let them know that the proposal is. Live and that they should vote on it as required of them in their role as validators. Avoiding the polls is different from abstaining. In order for validation to take place, you must abstain from voting, even if you have no intention of doing so. I won't just sit here and refuse to support TR infrastructure, that's for sure. As for me, I could vote no or abstain. Okay, you didn't see me simply say, oh, we just do the dirty trick and we'll just not vote, and then they'll not get anything towards it. We didn't do anything like that, of course, we always followed the rules. Right now, the one thing that makes me the happiest is that we can recruit more auto-compounding members. 
Now that the NFT sector as a whole is back online, our dApps will function normally, I can finally launch my airdrop module and begin working on the mobile app and web browser game I've been planning to roll out, both of which will be seamlessly integrated into the mobile station preferred by the vast majority of users. So now we have a wide variety of checkers. Oh, he's completely off his rocker. Wait a minute, how many dApps? Are your products industry specific? How many products have you developed for the market? What, my O, oh, compound module is being used? Oh my goodness, that's just ridiculous, right? So, it seems to me that the conclusion is increasingly clear. And I'm fairly pleased with how the first vote on the plan went, as I've already explained that it wasn't a pass or a fail, rather, it simply didn't reach quorum. As I've already mentioned, I'll be contacting a variety of validators and following the lead of those validators who, like me, call every other validator they can get their hands on and tell them they need to vote or else. That's the standard we're holding you to. There is an extremely brief section in the Terra docs outlining the bare minimal requirements for a validator. All the information a validator needs to cast a vote at consensus and stay abreast of. Developments on this blockchain can be found in the description. There's nothing extra to do, no need to present identification or visit a doctor. You don't have to put your signature on behalf of your threatened cats, uncles, pals, bears, coyotes, raccoons, babies, uncles, third cousins, tadpoles, or frogs. It's, it's crazy, you know what I mean? However, I believe this to be a positive impetus. I will be resubmitting my original plan for a vote, as I promised. And I'm praying that this time the validators would vote fairly and not ignore it or be sneaky as they were before. Actually, I do read the comments quite frequently. That's where I get most of my content inspiration from. You're always harping on the same old things, you know. Sadly, this is the reality of every necessary transition. Is it worthwhile, in your opinion, for me to continue making films in which I essentially repeat the same arguments over and over again? The difference is that I want to push for change, and I am pushing to get change, whereas you would believe I'd rather get up every day and make a video that is full FOMO, cater to 95% of the YouTube community, and just go for views and RPM and just not bother about change. And in a way that doesn't include me trying to gain authority. I've said it before and I'll say it again, victory is not maintaining status quo, it's bringing about positive change. This is a vitalizing drink. This blockchain is making strides towards a decentralized future. Many of the validators have already made it too clear that they are nasty actors, thus I'm looking forward to the second round of this proposal being posted. And they're breaking the rules while doing it. And it's all getting so wicked now. However, I stand by my earlier assertion. I've reviewed it, and it's going to be revised after I discussed it with the L1 team and we made some adjustments to the Gore and the Commonwealth. And I'm sure that all the various complainers will say, Oh, this, that, and the other. There are two plans, there will be two proposals, and everything will be spelt out. Having a fully functional mobile station again is a huge step in the right direction, in my opinion. We've acquired what we needed, and it doesn't matter whence the update originated or who preferred to integrate it. We need to break free of TFL's shackles as soon as possible. To truly separate ourselves and become the autonomous, decentralized blockchain we're meant to be, we'll need our own mobile station, system extensions across the board, including our own documentation, among other things, and so on. I hope you found this information helpful and that you're enjoying the freedom to do things you never could before. Those delegating with us will soon have access to automatic compounding. We can now move forward with developing the USTC airdrop module and releasing it to our delegates. Delegate with us or with the UNC if you haven't already. Don't forget to vote and push for the betterment of this blockchain if you're going to delegate with someone who also takes the time to make movies, construct dApps, build amazing websites, and build all these different modules. Keep yourself safe by making sensible decisions. Keep your ego in check and your senses sharp. This is not intended as financial advice and is provided solely for educational purposes. 
please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you later. Bye.